Hey everyone, I'm being bombarded by the light again. This is just not fair. Hello, dash cam. I need to create a, a sun visor. Maybe I get a sticker or something. Anyways, how are you guys? It's Saturday, July, uh, is it the 6th? <laughs> um, so in this world of, that's beautiful, it's rainbow colors. Um, the next date of some strangeness that I had documented uh, will be on the 8th of July. So maybe we won't have another earthquake today, but I'm seriously prepared. Very prepared. Um, this is so cool. You got, oh, there's an orb. So let's just get this out the way. Every time I record in here, you guys see things float. Um, <laughs> I'm being protected, just put it that way. And thank you to my beautiful sisters in this journey who acknowledged that for me. Um, those are signs and symbols that I'm protected. But it's really signs and symbols for you guys to know that there is something greater and bigger that surrounds us. We just don't clearly see it. But thank you to technology for allowing us to see what really we would have seen if we weren't uh, plagued with, you know, uh, barium sulfide aluminum and uh, fluoride and trimethyl aluminum. Anyways, I digress. <clears throat> so I really want to talk about yesterday uh, and, the, and the report that came about from the earthquake. In the last video, I was about to get into that topic and I got cut off thanks to a phone call. Um, but what I really want to mention was the seismologists and the, uh, well, I don't know, the reporters of the California Geo, I don't know what you call them. But they lied so damn freaking much, it pissed me off. How, uh, 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 uh. If you guys go back to the video I posted about the news, the, the, uh, the video's titled, They Are Behind It. They, they are behind it. Obviously, they are. I think what's happening is California is such a liberal state, right? They hate Trump to the nines. And it's just for some odd reason, people are catching on to... Um, they're catching on to Trump. They're catching on to... Uh, people are catching on to figuring things out that something is different about him. Not in a negative way. But his actions and all these different uh, people being fired and people leaving. and It just seems like there is some type of accuracy. Come on, light. I'm trying to adjust my camera here. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of us are like, wait a minute. Something benevolent is around the administration because... There's a lot of us who are in re reality number two that really can't find anything really wrong in politics right now other than the many irrational people who are complaining and whining every day creating this hateful energy. And a lot of this hateful energy and wanting to be away from the Trump administration, consciousness is causing this. Uh, it, it's almost like manifesting a, a way to separate from the U.S. And that the powers that be were on the side of the liberal and the uh, dem and the side of Democrats democracy. They have the they have the know how to make it happen. So what I thought was interesting yesterday was how they said this earthquake was on the surface. That way, uh, being that it was on the surface, there was no damage. Uh, if it were below the tectonic plates, which usually earthquakes are, um, then it would have been more cataclysm cataclysmic than it than normally. Uh, um, I just thought the whole thing was bizarre because later on in the dialogue, the lady, I don't even care what her name is. I hate to be judgmental, but these people have messed with us in our minds and mess with our reality they have mandela affected us i'm tired i'm just <coughs> no more mr nice guy i can forgive but when people cause harm 
I, I don't forget their sins. I don't forget their in deeds, you know. Um, they talked about how they had different um, test uh, centers along the surface where this earthquake started. And even if you follow the video, I'll put it in my description box in case you guys get lost in finding the video. But the guy clearly in the first sentence of the video, he says, and when we tested this out, and this is a test, you know, to only determine the size and blah, 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 blah. Clearly he said that this was an experiment and it worked. We figured it out because if there was a predictive earthquake, um, sorry, I'm getting loud because I'm frustrated, <laughs> but if it weren't orchestrated to begin with, they wouldn't have had that much uh, dialogue. It was just one earthquake. Why is there so much dialogue? Well, because they made it up and they're trying to create uh, uh, some way for us to pay for having an alert system because it's all about money. You saw the guy and his hand gestures together. He's a Freemason. It was just, it was so clearly obvious that this was their plan and that it was the only way to get uh, low down information if you needed to evacuate yourself, you know, blah, blah, blah. They were all communicating through each other. I was just so freaking pissed that here we are scared and in a state of panic because California, if we break off right at where that uh, fault line, that new fault line, that wasn't San Andreas at all. And what they clearly said, too, on accident was the two faults, uh, yeah, you know, oh, we're, we're going to do some research because it could be one fault triggered the other, but they're still connected. I'm like, why did you lie to people? Stop lying. Stop lying. When you build lies on top of lies on top of lies, eventually people are going to come after, not people like me, but people are going to come after the resource of truth. You know, or or I wouldn't be making a video like this to tell people, please pray and manifest that something in the world of the seismology and the earthquake prediction, whatever, that scandal gets revealed. <clears throat> I proclaim that right now because I'm just tired. Where that fault line is, if it breaks off between Ridgecrest to Nevada, that immediately will break California's corner off from... Bakersfield to San Diego, we will be all off into the ocean. And I think that's what they want. They don't want to be part of the United States. <clears throat> and the, the scariest thing of it is, I'm wondering who is going to be on this side of the country when the big one hits and we're really broken off into the ocean. Obama? Are they trying to make their own country, a mini country out of a piece of California they're trying to divide us I don't know I, I I maybe I'm channeling I don't know I don't know what I'm receiving it's just a lot of mixed messages <coughs> I'm confused because I'm trying to figure out if my guides want me to depart or stay but I've created so many ley lines in this area I've done so much energy work I've done so much uh, breakthrough with so many people that it would be a it would be a coward move if I abandon ship and run. I rather face the music. If it's if it's our time to go, it's our time to go. But I don't think it's my time to go. Um, I actually seen in a vision the end, and uh, I know how the end happens. And I woke up from the ending, and I was alive. And then I went back. To sleep. I fell back down and died. Um, but. That could have been one alternative alternative reality. And maybe I timeline jumped out of that. I don't know. I just know something strange is going on and someone's not telling the truth. But we're all on it. All of us who are in the light, we're all on it. This was and they told you in the numbers, 7.1 is an eight. Eight is Alpha Omega. That's dominance. That's takeover. Even in the names Ridge Crest. Death Valley, it just means edge. It means, uh, you know, the end. Um, in my last video, there were some words that my guides had told me, which was called Holodu, H-O-L-A-D-U. And that those words uh, mean... 
Melody means uh, vault, an opening, uh, a closing. It's just when something is released. Um, and then there was the word fallout. There's a falling out. Like it just, there was a lot of symbolism in yesterday. It kind of freaked me out a little bit because I was on another level. I do have a backpack. I do have uh, enough water to get by. My next task is to get, you know, uh, just veggies, canned goods for like seven days and some nuts. Because you can live off of regenerative foods. You don't need to have luxury. You know, you can get yourself a can of beans and some string beans and some potatoes. And, you know, I can literally live off pistachios. I can eat pistachios all day, every day. So I'm probably going to get mixed nuts, uh, some canned goods for seven days, and just chill. I think it'd be cool <laughs> to be off the grid, you know, essentially, because we don't have to pay rent, no car payments, um, though our phones will be short-circuited, but it'll probably put us back into the native essence that we were but we will lose we will lose that connection to each other and it would only be through the heart that we can all connect with each other and feel each other so i mean the heart knows what the heart needs to do so i'm rambling on but i was just really frustrated and upset about uh, how things went down yesterday i think a lot of us were just feeling defeated and we were deceived there was a big lie. Even like when I talked to my mom, <clears throat> I was trying to throw her a bone to look at something and she didn't really pay attention. She was like, eh, well, I'm going to get my hair done. I'm like, mom! Because she's in her awakening process now, but she's not fully, 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 but I keep telling her, mom. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, just breathe. I, I do know there will be another one. There will be another one. Uh, I don't know if it's today, tomorrow, or Monday. But my next uh, day that I circled of uh, things that were going to happen was Jan uh, July the 8th. Uh, because the numbers don't lie. Uh, anyways, I thank you guys for watching and take care.